So the first written question in this exam, uh, this is just a quick one for two marks. So you don't need to write much, you're going to make two clear statements, hopefully. So car engines use motor oil as a lubricant, so you've got to think about that context. Motor oils need to operate over a range of temperatures, but it may be at zero degrees or below when the engine started, or up to 160 degrees when the engine is running. At all times, motor oils need to be thin enough to allow the parts to move smoothly, but thick enough to remain on the moving parts. So this is something here. Parts to move smoothly on the moving parts. Explain why engines may experience difficulties if the temperature becomes too hot or too cold. Well, this is just really quite an easy one. You've just got to actually know the relationship between temperature and viscosity. And let's say here it is, temperature is um, inversely proportional to viscosity. Okay, um, it's simple as that. If temperature goes up, you get uh, less um, less viscous fluids. So if temperatures goes up, they're more runny, basically. Okay, if temperature is low, they're less runny. Just think about treacle. If you heat it up, it's uh, runnier. It's less viscous. Okay, uh, and then um, you could write that in words, obviously. Um, viscosity increases as temperature decreases. It's a two mark question though, so that's only going to be worth one mark. Uh, the second part is that, well, link that to that. Explain why the engine may experience difficulties if temperature becomes too hot or too cold. Well, it's when it's too um, hot, then the oil is too runny. Um, so it's not going to actually stick to the parts of the engine. It uh, won't remain on the moving parts. That in itself would be worth the mark, but you probably would say the converse, if it's too cold, then it's too viscous to spread throughout the parts. I hope that's all right. That's you know, it's not a difficult question, but you've got to really try and imagine what those two marks are going to be worth. A lot of people just write that first point, and they'd miss out on a really um, quite easy mark. Hopefully.